happening, including what you'll find on the papers, uh, the Standard and the Nation. Ruto wades into rise, sugar woos. President William Ruto in uh, uh, vowing to crush sugar cartels made reference to just one try who was abducted by a known person saying he's a nobody to manipulate the industry. And you'll see a similar story on the nation. Ruto issues Mumia's order amid dry abduction puzzle. And the president is not very happy with some of the court cases that are in court as the fight for control of Mumia sugar continue. He is saying that all those cases need to be dropped and Mumia sugar managed because it is the property of the public as we struggle to revitalize uh, the sugar sector and get back to where it should be. And I want us to have a mention on that before we transition to the other issues about uh, the other crisis that we're having, that is about power and um, energy costs in the country. Senator o o Onyonka, when you hear the president speaking as he is, at a time that there is that um, controversy about the abduction of that uh, um, investor, Jaswant Rai, what are we dealing with here, even as we struggle with the sugar sector in this country? The prices, you know where they are, but the local sector is not doing as it should. Um, good morning, Sami. Um, these events are quite amazing because, one, uh, for the first time in Kenya, I saw an individual who is extremely wealthy, uh, who is also known in the business circles, um, first abducted and then after that the guy was released. What is funny is that uh, Mr. Rai, who I know personally, because mm -hmm. I've known him for a very long time, has not said who abducted him, why and what the issue is. What was interesting is that at the same time that was happening, the day before the president had actually discussed Mr. Rai mm -hmm. publicly and he had mentioned words which may not have been very good about what crimes Mr. Rai might have committed. Mm -hmm. I would like to sincerely plead with our president. You know, his actions and his utterances mean something. When a president stands up and talks about an individual, that individual, whether he has broken the law or not, um, puts that individual in a position where uh, I, I see unfairness. In other words, I do believe, Sami, that we must protect due process mm -hmm. very vigilantly. We must allow, if somebody has broken the law, let him go through the process. Send the DCI, send the ESCC if that is the issue. Present the evidence. Let this individual be taken to court. Let the president not be a person who makes announcements in public where he's actually accusing somebody, because then he's trying this individual in public in advance. But that doesn't mean that the pres president could be wrong. The reason is there's some information <coughs> he has on the issues which have been affecting the coffee, coffee, uh, the sugar, sugar sector in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And indeed, all our sugar factory, Mumias, Chemelil, Sony, uh, they're all dead. Sami, what is very funny about our sugar industry is, is uh, two things, mm -hmm. and I've watched very keenly, and I'm sure my brother Ocheng has also done. Our sugar factories, which are state-run, have failed. And for me, that, that is a question we should always, but the ones which are privately run, right? Uh, you're talking about Ndewa, you're talking about uh, Cabras, you're, you're talking about uh, Western Sugar, Butali. you're talking about Butali, you're talking about Transoia, I mean, not Transoia, uh, Transmara. All the <coughs> private sugar companies are making a profit. Mm -hmm. They are running, they are employing people. So what is it that makes government-owned or government-interest uh, sugar factories to always collapse? My belief is the collapse has been intentional. All right, one, we get managers who go to those sugar factories, the basic agenda, the top managers, the basic agenda has been to collapse those sugar factories. And to be honest with you, you can look at Mumia Sugar, when Kidero was there, look at what happened. That is actually when Mumia started going down. Number two, the government policy on sugar, as far as I'm concerned, is convoluted, is mixed up, even when the president means well and he's saying we are going to come up with solutions on what we are going to do with public sugar factories, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. The truth is we know right now there is sugar which has been brought in. 
Of course, the decision was made as a government policy to make sure that we don't have a shortage, then so that the price doesn't go up, all those things. But if you look at our policy in terms of how we have run our show factories and what has happened historically, right. including Kuala Sugar, there's a sugar mm -hmm. company called Kuala Sugar. Mm -hmm. That's doing well. All our public sugar companies have just been cash cows, uh, high levels of corruption, uh, lack of utilization of uh, satisfactory uh, crop husbandry uh, and, and management systems for these factories to work. All these factories have been bailed out by gov various previous governments where um, wh what I call um, uh, uh, payments which have been made directly from the treasury, actually grants mm -hmm. which have been given to these sugar factories, they've always collapsed. So I think the president is right in trying to come up and saying he has a, a solution to the sugar factories and the problems of these sugar factories. Okay. But I also, Sami, would not want the president to take uh, uh, power into <clears throat> his own hands mm -hmm. and begin to victimize individuals that he feels are individuals who have uh, disadvantageously mismanaged or played a role in making sure that these factories have collapsed and him making these announcements on, on roadsides, whereby, of course, the public and the crowd will be very happy he has done that. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, I think to me, let him set up even a commission. Let him get people who know a lot about the sugar industry. Let these people make recommendations. Or if the government before has made certain recommendations on what needs to be done with these sugar factories, why has nothing ever happened? You'll find that uh, some of the leadership in the previous government actually wanted to own these sugar factories. And that's why deliberately okay. they, they've, they've made sure that the sugar factories collapse. I mean, I know of a story, for example, that in one of the previous governments, the issue that was being, um, uh, what they were planning to do is actually take all the extension land, which Mumia Sugar owns, which is over 120,000 acres of land. That is what they wanted. Right. And yet, Interestingly enough, and I really want to thank my colleague, uh, Boni Halwale, He's, he stood up, he has said, don't sell our factories. We know the game which is being played. The public is not even being asked. And according to the law, there are no public hearings. Okay. Let everything be done within the law. And like right. the president has said, and I completely support him, please let us find a lasting solution to the sugar problem in Kenya. But at the same time, Mr. President, don't take the law into your own hands. Let right. the normal due process take place.